If you are a Salesforce admin appearing for Salesforce interviews, these questions can be really helpful to you. So let's move to the first question. And the first question says that we have a validation rule for the case that the owner can never be queued. And at the same time, we have one case assignment rule which changes the owner record to a queue. In such scenario, will the validation rule fire or the owner will be changed to the queue? So basically, what this user story says or what this requirement says is that case, okay, whoever the case is, okay, owner cannot be queued. But at the same time, we are trying to make the owner as Q using the assignment rule. Okay, so now the question is, will we get the validation error when we fire the assignment rule or will we not? Okay, so let's understand it. So right now I have an org available with me right now, as you can see. Now, if I, there is a case owner is Rajesh Srivastav. Now, if I'm going to go ahead and update the owner to any Q, let's say phone Q or something like that. Okay. I have written a validation rule that the owner cannot be queued. So if I'm going to click on it, as you can see, it's going to fire a validation that owner cannot be queued. Now, at the same time, I have an assignment rule that if case origin is equals to web, then I need to assign the case to a particular queue. So let's see if I'm going to edit this case. And if I make the case owner as web, case origin as web, and I use the active assignment rule. And if I click on save, the owner is changed successfully and I did not get any of the error message at all. So the simple answer to this question is that you won't get a validation rule error. And the reason is because the order of execution. So as far as the order of execution, validation rule fires first, then the assignment rule comes, right? So basically when you are trying to save the record, first it goes and checks the validation rule. And as it's not saved yet, the case owner previously over here was Raju Srivastava. And as Raju is a user and it's not a queue, that is the reason why a validation rule failed over here. Validation rule thought that, okay, owner is still Raju. But after that, later on, assignment rule, uh, assignment rule came into the existence, right? And it updated the owner to queue, right? And it was very late for the validation rule to fire an error message. So as far as the order of execution, you won't get any of the error message at all. And the owner will be changed successfully. So let's move on to the next question that what are the limits of steps that can be added to any of the approval process? So let's say you have an approval process, right? And let's say uh, inside the approval process, you can add the entry conditions and all that stuff. You can add everything that you need to, right? I don't think so. I have, have any approval process, but in the approval process, you can also add steps. Right. You can add uh, whatever steps that you want to within that approval process. As If you can see approval steps, you can add it. So what is the maximum limit you can add? OK, what is the maximum up number of approval steps that you can add? And the answer to this question is 30. OK, so the maximum limit to which the to which uh, steps that you can add inside the approval process is 30. Beyond that, you cannot add further. Now, before moving to the next question, if you want to do an hands on admin project, I have designed a comprehensive admin project, which will force you to explore digital experience, omnichannel flows and other tools of Salesforce and will also help you to clear many of the concepts that are needed as an admin and head you towards the developer thinking model. To get this project, click on the top mid link below. Let's move on to the next question that our system has a screen flow on the home page, which finds the contact based on the phone number added to the screen. Now, when user A is trying to find a contact, he is able to find some contacts, but for some email, he is unable to find. Sorry, not email. It should be phone number. It's he's unable to find. Okay. What would be the reason? How should we fix it? So what happens is let's say there is a screen flow. I add one, two, three, four, five, six, and I click on the search button. So this screen flows, go ahead and finds out the contact with certain phone number. Okay. It's working for few contacts, but for few contacts, it's not working. What could be the possible reason? Now over here, if you can see if it's not, he is able to access few records, but not few other records in such cases, sharing is the issue. Okay. Because he is able to use records, right? So he has the access to read the records, but sharing is the issue. So let's say, uh, account OWD is private. And because of that contact OWD is also private. 
and because of the, uh, as the OWD is private, only the person who owns the record will be able to view those records, right? The person who does not own the record or as per as the rule hierarchy won't be able to view those records. So what's going to happen is that maybe because for few phone numbers, he does not own the record and the person is above as per as the rules, right? A person is above him as per as the rules and he does not own the record. And that's the reason why he's not able to find such kind of contacts based on the phone number. Now, in order to fix these issues, one of the ways that nothing but we can make account as public read write and contact will be also public read write, but that does not make sense at all, right? You cannot directly change the, everything to public read write. So, another better solution would be you can go to flows and inside flows, if you if you have ever used flows, right? Inside flows, there is one option to run it as a system uh, as per as a system or as per as a particular user right so with or without sharing you can run the flow as well with with sharing or without sharing so in here you have to run it without sharing so as as it is uh, using without sharing in that cases no sharing rules will be imposed on it so if you go over the flow if you click over here and show advance here you can see whether the flow how to run the flow with sharing or without sharing so access all data, you can, will be able to access all the data. But if you are using with sharing, in such cases, you won't be able to access few records which you do not own or as per as the role hierarchy. So this was all about the admin questions that I had to discuss in this video. If you found this video helpful, I request you to please like this video and subscribe to my channel.